हेलो एवरी वन आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू दिस चैनल टूडे वी विल मेक एम एन ओ टू मोनोलेयर यूजिंग आवर बेस्टा सॉफ्टवेयर सो फॉर दिस हियर आई हैव सर्स्ट एम एन ओ टू इन द मेटेरियल्स प्रोजेक्ट सो देर आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट क्रिस्टल सिस्टम हियर सो दिस वन आई एम टेकिंग दिस इज द एम एन ओ टू लेयर हैविंग ट्राइगोनल स्ट्रक्चर एंड हैविंग थ्री साइड्स and this is verified by experiment and computation uh, let's click on this so here we can see that this is the layered structure that will be downloaded so i am going to download the cif file here and next is we can open the same file using our besta software so i am opening the mno2 cif here so this one open so uh, this is our mno2 cif so as we can see the purple color atoms are uh, mn and this red color ones are oxygen and we can see it from different different angles and this is how it is looking like okay so our first thing will be to export this as pass postcard file so let's save this and uh, so i am saving it to cartesian coordinate and okay so now what we will do we will try to open this bus here okay so we can see that what is the difference same here and now what i will do i will try to open the same file in our vi editor so mn dot bus file i am opening here so you can see that this is our uh, like crystal system specification and here is only one mn uh, mn atom and one o2 atom and this is the coordinate for that here i i will also try to show like how the relationship between different different uh, la, uh, different different values over here are defined so here we can see the see in the summary of mno2 that this a and b are same like 2.856 and 2.856 and c is different and alpha beta gamma are 90 90 and 120 so uh, now we will try to see what what is the relationship between this lattice vectors so here our a value is how much this is this this into cos of 120 will give us this value this is our first value and here if i will try to do this with our sin 120 so then we will get this value so this is how they are related so this value is a cos 120 and this is a sin 120 okay now here i want to do this uh, lattice to extend along c axis so that there won't be any overlap between the mono layers of mno2 so here i am going to edit this file so here i, I will only change the z axis layer like z axis value so here i am simply making it to 10 point something okay now save this file and here i will go to open the newly edited ci uh, bus file so here you can see the difference that now this uh, like this was our previous uh, structure and this is the newly edited structure so this way it is modified it is only extended along the c axis so now what we will do here we will try to do, do the transform of this unit cell so i am going to edit edit data unit cell so here i am trying to transform this to 4 cross 4 and no transformation along uh, z axis okay then yes then okay then apply then okay so here you can see that this is how our mono mono layer of mno2 is here this way we can do Uh, the mono layer formation in our uh, using our besta software and also i can show here that uh, 
before I can make it undo undo yes so this was our normal structure but here uh, you, you can say that as we are seeing only one at one mn and uh, two o2 in our postcard but here the uh, four mn and so uh, and 16 o2 atoms are uh, like uh, like visible so what we can do for this we can go to edit simply on the bonds then we can click on this do not search atoms beyond the boundary so now you can see that the oxygen atoms are now uh, not here then we can go to objects and click on boundary and then we can edit this uh, maximum values here so i am just changing it to uh, 0 0.99 from 1 and apply then you can see that this is what is nothing but mn and o2 so uh, if you are having this structure you can also go to uh, edit and do the transformation thing here so here also i will do the same thing 4 cross 4 transformation then ok yes ok then click on apply then ok now this is our this is another mno2 structure that we have made from our uh, like uh, from simply from the one mn and one and two o two i two o two. Next, we can save this file as. So I am writing this new mno two, and this is a mono layer. Four by four. Mono. Okay, fine. This much. So let's save this and save it in fractional coordinate ok so i am going to open the newly formed mono layer so here i am opening it you can see the same thing like uh, if we are uh, coming with from the unit uh, like the from own single sim, single one mn and uh, two oxygen atom it will also look like the same and because of the periodic boundary conditions uh, applied in this software so this way you can see and this way we can build our mo uh, like our mono layer uh, for any of the structure so uh, this much for today's session and thank you all and bye bye